Kim at Yasui Water Garden. Um, actually, I just came from my garden. But I'm going to show you guys later what I've, what I've been doing out there, getting ready for my winter garden. Um, I'm really amazed how God can give you ideas and and they happen. When you try to do something on your own, it don't work. But when you pray about it and ask God to help you, like, Lord, give me strength. Give me, what do I do? You know, order my steps. He orders your steps and he does it for you. Anyway, on that note, um, I'm going to be reading Revelation chapter 18 today. And we're getting to the end. we got like probably four more to go. I'm reading to 22. Is it 22 or 23? It's 22. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I got four more. Counting today is five. But as we pray, I just want to thank the Lord for another day. Um, but um, it's going to be Revelation 18, 1 through 24. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come. We thank you for your many blessings, Father God. We thank you for just watching over us today. Thank you for waking us up first and for seeing another day. Some didn't. But Lord, you know why and you have everything under control. But Lord, I just thank you so much for everything. Um, Lord, I pray that you forgive us of our sins and forgive me of my sins and my shortcomings. And just thank you so much, Father, for everything. And as I read your word today, I pray, Lord, that you will use me, guide me, direct me, order my steps, and just use my tongue, use my voice, use everything about me, Lord, to glorify you. Not me, but you. And I pray for the poor, sick, and the hungry. I pray for the homeless. I pray for everybody, Lord, that they will turn from their, um, their ways and follow you, Lord. You know, some that are already following you but still having problems. And we that's why we come to you, our Savior, to help us and give us guidance. But I pray for the wicked, too, Lord, that they will turn from their wicked ways and accept you as their personal Savior. Lord, bless us and keep us is our prayer. In your son, Yahushua's precious name. Amen. All right. Um, it reads, after, I'm going to start with verse 1. It says, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitat of devils, and hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Verse three, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that you partake not of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Verse 6, re reward her even as she rewards you, and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. Verse 7, how much has, how much has, hath glorified herself and lived del 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 delicately, so much torment and so sorrow give her and I give her for she said in her heart I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow verse 8 there shall her plagues come in one day death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burned with her or burned with fire for strong is the Lord Yah who judges judges her and the king of the earth who have committed fornication and live delicately with her shall bewail her and lament lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning verse 10 standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying at last at last that great city babylon that mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come Verse 11, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth her, their mer merchandise anymore. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood 
and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble. Verse 13. And, and it's in, I'm sorry. And cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Wow, that was deep. 14. And the fruit Fruits that thy soul lusteth after are departed from thee, and all things which were tainted, dainty and goody, goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off from the fear of her torment, weeping, welling, weeping and welling. And saying, at last, at last, the great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Verse 17. For in one hour so great riches is is, is come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the all the company and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off. Verse 18. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, At last, at last, that great city, wherein were made rich all, the, all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. Mm. Verse 20, Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yah has avenged, avenged, advantage, avenged, uh, bleh, avenged, avenged you, on, you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great milestone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Verse 22, and the voice of harps and music, musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman of what of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee, and the sound of a millstone, a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. Verse 23, and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by the sorceries were all nations deceived. In the last verse, and in her, verse 24, and in her was found the blood of prophets and of the saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Wow, that was deep. Okay, um, this is chapter 18, and, and it's talking about this city, the great city, the Babylon has fallen, has fallen. You guys, I don't know about you, but history repeats itself, and it got destroyed back then, the old Babylon. But it makes you wonder, what's the, this going to be the Babylon of us of today? And it's like... It's a spiritual Babylon. It's, it's things that are happening here in America. And I'm not going to say, but, you know, who is it? You know, just think about it. You know, all this that people say make America great again, you know, and the things that they're going to be doing and, well, doing now, but it's, things are going to get worse. So, it makes you wonder, you know, this is what the word of God says, you know, so we shall find out, huh? We shall see. So get prepared, you guys. Wake up and see, you know, pretty soon you're not going to be able to buy or sell anymore. What do you do? You rely on the Lord. The Lord says bread and water will be sure and for his people, but for the wicked, they're going to have a short time to enjoy themselves in their life, but then all of a sudden they're going to be destroyed. So whose side will you be on? I know what side I'll be on. The Lord's side. 
So the Lord give me strength to go through whatever I have to go through. So be it. So I love you guys. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come. We thank you so much for your many blessings. Thank you for your word, Father. Thank you for just lighting it up like a light bulb, Lord, to wake us up to see, you know, what time it is in these end times. Watch over us and keep us and protect us, Lord, your people, and just direct us in, in all our ways, Lord. Please, Father, guide us, lead us, and show us your, your way, Lord, not our own. Keep us and protect us, Father. It's our prayer in your son, your Yeshua's precious name. Amen. I don't know why I get on here after I eat lunch because I get the belching. But guys, I love you. And take care of yourself and be always ready. Look up to the sky because our redemption draws nigh. The Lord is coming soon. Love you guys. Peace.